what's up everyone it's steve from straight fire picks we got best bets for nba on wednesday april 5th 2023 it's a little bit of a late video but i thought i'd still put it out uh for you guys uh if you guys are new to the channel here today please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button always appreciate that we are on the road to 7,000 subscribers reminder here at the channel guys that we are partnered with price picks be sure to use our code sfp for 100 percent deposit match and your first deposit up to 100 dollars on price picks really is a great app guys it specializes in player props and things of that nature put multiple picks into an entry to win a lot of money it really is a lot of fun to use so highly encourage you to check that out be sure to also drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section if you like your pick included in our comment capper section just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick and we'll include your pick in the video if it hits speaking of which we had adam bankston yesterday calling out evan mobley over two and a half assists he was able to cash that i believe he finished with four or five so great call out there from adam uh, so yeah, like I said, drop your favorite pick down below. As far as our results yesterday, we ended up with a winning day. Uh, we went 2-1. and one. Uh, We cashed the bonus under 39.5 PRAs. He finishes with 39. Um, and then we also cashed on Clint Capella over 21.5 points plus rebounds. Uh, he cashed that pretty easily there. Uh, and then the only one we missed was James Harden under 19.5 points. He finishes on the hook with 20. So very nearly got a 3-0 sweep. So hopefully we can... Uh, do that today. I really love the stuff that we have today. We're dialed in. Um, we're ready, guys. We're going to sweep the slate today. we got three picks here for you tonight, three player props. It's tough to cap the end of the season, so that's why I honestly look. Typically, I'm trying to look for a lot of unders, but I actually have two overs and an under tonight. So hopefully they, they come in hot for us. Um, but, yeah, typically videos be out earlier. Like I said, I just decided to do a late video because I was like, yeah. I was just gonna post the plays, you know, in like the community tab and that kind of thing, but you know, figure might as well might as well put it out. So let's get right into it, guys. We got three picks here at number one. We are going with Demontis Sabonis under 39 and a half PRAs here for the Sacramento Kings. Minus 113 odds here on FanDuel. So yes, we're going right back to this play. So obviously, Sabonis here, guys, on a back-to-back -back here for the Kings. Um, and that's obviously significant because the Kings don't really have a ton to play for here. Um, honestly, they're they're pretty much locked into where they're going to be there in the three seed. So, I mean, they could, I mean, they still could move around, but, you know, the reasoning for playing him big minutes just isn't there, right? Second game of a back to back. He played about 32 minutes last night, which was about what I expected. You know, it wasn't heavy minutes. We've seen him play over 40 minutes before versus uh, this Mavs team, and he still only had 38 PRAs. So, I think here, a great shot again to go under. Uh, three games versus the Mavs as a member of the Kings. He's had 38, 36, and 31. So he's gone under in all three. And like I said, the game he had 38 where he got close, he had to play 40 plus minutes to get there. So this actually isn't a great matchup for him. Mavericks actually allowing the seventh fewest points, the 13th fewest rebounds to centers, which I love to see that. Um, and Sabonis averaging also below this line on the road as well, averaging 38.4 PRAs on the road. Um... And like I said here, especially on a back-to-back, -back, you're not going to run this guy into the ground right before the playoffs. That wouldn't make any sense. Uh, but, of course, things happen. <laughs> but I just don't see that happen. He is five out of his last ten to the under with two hooks. Uh, and three out of his last five to the under overall. So, definitely trending in the right direction here over the last five games. Would you like to see that? And like I said, you know, Maver uh, Mavericks here with everything to play for. You know, they desperately need to win this game. You know, the spread is set, I believe, to seven and a half. So, you know, the books are actually thinking the Mavs might pull away in this one, uh, which obviously if that starts to happen, you know, Spones could be off the floor either way um, in that case because they're going to go likely small with their lineup uh, shooting threes and stuff like that. But either way, guys, whether he plays the whole, you know, a, a normal worker a lot, this is still a tough matchup either way. So I think we have many ways to hit the under here tonight. So, Love it there for our number one pick. We're going DeMontis Sabonis, under 39.5 PRAs here for the Sacramento Kings. Minus 113 odds here on FanDuel. Okay, and at number two, we're going with LeBron James, over 7.5 rebounds here for the Los Angeles Lakers. Minus 122 odds here on FanDuel. Believe it or not, James, guys, 12 out of 13 to the over versus the Clippers um, as a member of the Lakers. So, hits it just about every game, which we love to see that. No Paul George here for the Clippers, which definitely takes away from their offensive efficiency. Uh, puts more pressure on Kawhi Leonard, obviously. And then they're relying on Russell Westbrook to actually make shots. So we could see a bunch of, um, you know, Westbrook's actually been playing pretty well. But, you know, relying on him consistently to shoot the ball is not something, you know, the Clippers really want to do. So 
definitely could lead to more rebounds there in that sense. James also six out of his last 10 to this line, three out of his last five, seven out of his last 10 to this line on the road. So like seeing all those things. Clippers here are 20th in rebounds allowed per game. Typically they haven't allowed a lot, but like I said, without Paul George, it definitely adds a little bit more of an added factor there. And I'm expecting this to be a, a very hard fought physical game, right? Both these teams desperately need this win. So Clippers are hanging on to the sixth spot. Lakers are trying to get the sixth spot. So this is a huge game. Obviously, for being a seventh seed to a sixth seed is significant. Um, then you don't have to play in the playing tournament if you're the sixth seed. Uh, so obviously, I'm expecting a lot of defense, um, a lot of missed shots potentially, you know, a lot of tight defense. I'm expecting James to go over here easily. I think him getting 10 rebounds tonight actually is a nice value play, to be honest with you. But do love it there for our number two pack. We're going LeBron James over seven and a half rebounds, minus 122 odds here on FanDuel. Okay, and finally at number three, we got OG Ananobi over 21 and a half PRAs here for the Toronto Raptors. Minus 120 here on DraftKings. So, you guys, Raptors, you know, still with everything to play for here. Seeding, uh, they really need to move up. Uh, I believe they're in the nine spot, you know, tied with the Bulls for the eight spot. So, obviously, the difference between nine and eight, again, is very significant. Uh, if you're in the seven and the eight spot, you only got to win one game. If you're in the nine and the ten, you got to win two. So, it's obviously very different. So, obviously, they need this game. OG Ananobi has been playing great lately. He's eight out of his last ten to this line. Five out of his last five, and five out of his last five on the road as well. Now, he's two out of his last five versus the Boston Celtics with a hook. However, four Celtics players are listed on the injury report, including Jason Tatum. Al Horford already ruled out. Tatum listed as a game-time decision. Honestly, it could very easily see him not playing. There's not a lot of reason for the Celtics to play, you know, guys, especially if they're banged up at this point in the year. Celtics not with a ton to play for. Um... You know here so obviously they could lose the two spot to the Sixers if they were to you know you know lose a couple and the Sixers win a couple but really you know in the grand scheme of things it's not really a ton to play for other than a little bit of seating which isn't really that big of a deal um so if Tatum's injured I expect them to set he played 38 minutes last night so he played big minutes last night back to back Hard to imagine, hard to imagine them forcing anything there from Jason Tatum. Which, if he's in there, it just makes life tougher there on Ananobi because Tatum's a big body, um, makes it harder to rebound. Tatum's obviously can play defense and all that kind of thing. So, um, I, I definitely think, obviously, if Tatum doesn't play, I think Ananobi goes over easy. I think it'd be a little bit tougher if he plays, but I still think he's got a great chance to go over regardless. Uh, so that's why I like this, and his trends are terrific, which I like seeing that. So. Raptors desperately need it. Expect big minutes. Big production here from Ananobi. Love it there for number three pick, guys. We're going OG Ananobi over 21.5 PRAs. Here for the Toronto Raptors. Minus 120 odds here on DraftKings. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for our picks. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are still on the road to 7,000 subscribers. Appreciate all the support that you guys are able to give just by liking and sharing the video. That does wonders for us. So, Let's have a good night tonight, guys. Like I said, late video today. Typically, that will not be the case. Typically, we'll have our videos out earlier. It's just, you know, producing two videos for me sometimes is tough uh, with time and stuff. We had an MLB video. Most of our MLB plays are already done, except for I'm going to likely add one Major League Baseball play for tonight's game because our uh, Moneyline play got rained out today. So, one on one so far in Major League Baseball today. Uh, so, I'm looking to add a play in Major League Baseball later. So, look for that. Other than that, that's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you all next time. Peace out.